Assalamu alaikum my name is Tamur Sikandar and today we are going to create our user profile screen as you know we are going to the firebase series but currently we are not going to create our next firebase video but we need to create this user profile because we need this user profile to get and show the data from the firebase so what we are going to do in the next video is we will be first authenticate our user inside this login screen and when the user click on this go button instead of simply going to the user profile it will first check it and then pass it to this user profile in the next video we will get these all values from the firebase create this design watch the video till end so let's get started okay to create user screen go to the apps and inside the first folder create a new activity empty activity name it user profile open xml section to start the designing of user profile and in here move to the text so we have a constraint layout change this to linear layout and add its orientation here orientation will be vertical as you can see on the right side we have divided our design into three main sections and the first section include user image which is name and username then the second section we have two card views and then the last section we have some text field the button so for the first section we are going to create relative layout and inside that relative layout width will be match parent and height will be 300 dp add a padding 20 dp and inside this relative layout we want to create image view 100 dp into 100 dp of size then add a source of the image now you can see our image is at the left top corner but we want to place it in the center center vertical Okay, in here we need to assign the ID because inside the relative layout we have to place elements relative to some other elements. So for that we use IDs. And next we want to add text views with wrap content and wrap content. Then text will be dummy for now, but we will change it. We fetch the data from Firebase. In the next tutorial, text size will be 20 SP. Use SP for the text size. And the font family I am going to use is the first one. As you can see, currently our text is at the top left corner of our relative layout, but we want to place it relative to or to the right side of our image. So for that, we will write to left of, sorry, to right of the ID, which is profile image and make it center vertical true and you can see our text is right next to our image also let's add some margin left ndp to add some space okay close this copy it and paste it below okay let me we change the username and we also have to define the id over here and id will be full name i don't want to use any font family but the default font and change the size 14 sp and this time we want to make it center vertical no but instead of that we want to place it below the id which is called full name so you can see our text placed right beneath over the first text but when we run our application there is a problem with our text it adds some extra space which is called font padding inside our design and text will be at distance from each other so for that we need to define include font padding so we will follow this one so to remove the extra padding of our text and our design should remain same as it is shown in the right side of our screen and also add here font padding false okay last thing for this section is we need to add a background color to this portion so for that write the background and add the related color uh, currently i am using this color so 
this section is ready okay for the next section we will simply create our linear layout with match parent and height will be wrap content inside this linear layout we first want to create our card view but for this design for this tutorial I am going to use the material card view if you don't know how to add the card view you can simply go to the design and inside go to the containers and search for the card view you might have a downloadable icon here to use the card view inside the project so if you have that icon click on this and wait for the dependencies to be added in the project once done you can simply go back to the text and use the card view which is the first one android x dot card view so for this design i am going to use the material design card view so if you want to use the material design you can better check the videos my previous videos to learn how to use material design in the project to make it responsive i am going to assign 0 dp as weight because i will assign the weight so what weight will do i will quickly show you in a minute 125 dp of the height of card view and then i am going to assign the weight which will be one so this weight will only works inside the linear layout and weight will assign equal space to all the elements inside this specific linear layout which is this one inside this card view i am going to create our first relative layout because we want to place elements inside the relative layout relative to some other elements which will be match parent and match parent so it should cover the whole area of our material card okay, inside this relative layout we will first create our image view which will be 30 dp in width and height then add the source of the image to make it center we will write center horizontal and true you can see it is currently totally connected with our top screen so for that i am going to add some margin sorry so padding inside our relative layout okay to add some space around the card view because it is completely connected with the linear layout let me quickly add the margin which will be 10 dp and you can see now our card view is appearing close this one and now at the linear layout as we are assigning the same space from the sides of this linear layout so add the padding here with 20 dp now you can see the shadow of our card view and it is aligned with the same line from top to bottom okay the next thing we want to create is the text view with wrap content and wrap content text will be some price and after the text add the size of the text which will be 20 sp then add a font family which will be bungie and we also want to make it center which is center in parent then we need to assign its id and id will be payment label and close this now we want to add another text view copy the first one and paste it change here to description change the text also change the size to 14 we don't want this font family and we don't want to add it in the center but we want to paste it below the top id which is payment label and also make it center horizontal true now our card view is ready but again we need to remove font padding which will be false and for both of them also we need to add the background color to this card view and the color will be yellow one we are using for our design currently you can see it is not affecting this background so inside the card view we need to add card background color and paste this one also we need to define the card elevation to add a shadow beneath the card so i am using the 10 for this example 
copy this card view and paste it now you can see as we have defined weight inside our design which is one so this is what the benefit of a weight is when we created our second card view it takes equal space as the first one okay let me quickly change these fonts and text okay once our both card views are ready we want to place them just beneath these this image and this text close these material designs and inside this linear layout what we want to do is we want to add margin top and it will be minus 100 dp now you can see our design moves to the top or just beneath this image so this is what we want for this section okay our second section is ready so now we have to create our last section for that we am going to use a linear layout again with match parent and wrap content also add padding here as 20 dp then inside this linear layout i am going to create some material design text fields to so create material design so first of all we need to define text input layout and inside this layout we are, we will be using our added text field which is also a material design its width will be match parent and height will be wrap content I need to add hint if you don't know how to use these material things you can check the video link is in the description add hint will be full name then we need to create our edit text inside which is called text input edit text and it is also a material design library height will width will be match parent height will be wrap content and then we need to add a text for now for this example i am creating a text but in the next video we will get these values from firebase and show them inside our profile section so for now the text will be let's pose it's my name okay the last thing we want to add here is icon of our text field so for that search for drawable drawable left and search for the icon now in here you can see our icon and the text are connected with each other so to add a padding you can search for drawable padding and add it 10 dp so now you can see we have an extra space between our text and icon okay so what next is we want to add some margin bottom will also be 10 dp to add space between first and second edit text fields copy this one and paste it as many times we want and also i am going to change these images and text as you can see we pasted these text field four times but you cannot see them inside the design because they are going horizontal direction so we need to define orientation here which will be vertical and you can see our design is now appearing okay once we have changed these all things and the last thing we want to do is to create a button with width match parent height wrap content and its text will be update if in case user want to update anything and then also we want to add some font style font family then add its background color the same we have used inside our theme color so you can see our button is not currently covering the whole screen because the screen is ended here and it cannot go further below the screen and when our device shrinks to the some smaller screens we might cannot be seen these password fields and some other our depending on the resolution we might not see all these things so for that let me change its change it width. now you can see our button is completely appearing so to solve this problem for the smaller devices we are using the linear layout for the parent layout so to solve this we need to use scroll view 
and make it scrollable and remove this orientation vertical inside this scroll view we want to create our linear layout with match parent and height will be match parent close this one and place this end tag of linear layout just above the scroll layout and press alt ctrl l to align the code and the last thing is we need to define the orientation which is vertical and you can see our design is back but it is no scrollable let me change it to smaller screens you can see our button is appearing and it is also scrollable so change design to nexus 5 now here you can see our password field is also gone but we can scroll it and you can see our design is appearing and it is visible for all screen devices so for that okay our design is ready so let's quickly run it and let's see how it looks like okay our splash screen is up here and we are in our login screen so in the next video we will use this login screen to authenticate first and then when user clicks on this go button it will either reject it or pass it to the user screen so in this case i am just calling the next activity on this screen so when we click on this you can see our user profile is appeared and in the next video we will also try to add some animations inside this user profile so that's it for today stick together and if you're new to the channel please subscribe the channel and hit the bell icon for more videos and also like the video if you learn something new that's it for today thank you for watching take care allah peace